what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to terabyte reacts we are once again here with some more walking dead and i know i don't think i uploaded an episode last week but we are here once again today we're doing season one episode nine is it <laughs> i think it's episode nine let me check yes episode nine okay and we know what happened in the last episode man we got lori turned over in her car because she decides to read a map while driving yeah mm -hmm. why she left camp only god knows why she's worried about three guys what I'm still here wondering why she left camp because it, it, it was this story convenient because it I mean was she worried about Rick is that the reason why she decided to go out she didn't even know where she was going she didn't even say let me grab one of these folks that knows the place so I can go look for so I can go look for Rick she just left okay all right so we still got crazy Shane over here you know what I'm saying um Dale kind of you know deduced kind of deduced that Shane actually did kill um what's his name uh, is it Oscar I think I don't remember the guy's name I think it was Oscar <laughs> it was an old name I know it was no beginning with O okay so I think it was Oscar right and what went down in the bar where Herschel, Rick, and Glenn is, that was a scene within itself, right? What did they hope to gain? I don't understand. Why are we killing each other when we got walkers around? Like, let's be honest about this. Like, I know, I know that everybody is in survival mode. And I get it. Why don't you just understand? Like, there's so many other places that they could go and find resources why try to kill people that are, that told you hey we don't have any more space for you bro simple plane if we can't if we don't have any more space for you go find somewhere else it's i'm pretty sure if they look around they probably could clear out an area where walkers is but you know human nature i gotta even when even when we're in a situation where you know what i'm saying we're trying to preserve our species as in to not make us an in at this point human beings are endangered species right but let's kill some more you know <laughs> let's do that yeah so rick ended up killing the two guys glenn did nothing herschel just sat there so we're gonna see what's the aftermath of that and what's taking place at camp of course of course they didn't want rick to leave again you know what i'm saying even though everybody is safe they didn't want him to leave um who else could have go talk to herschel i think rick was the best person to go and talk to him of course but some people might beg to differ right so we're gonna jump into this episode man and hopefully hopefully it goes well as in the aftermath of what happened in the bar um i don't know if those guys were with anybody else there's that too so i don't know so let's jump into this and see what happens now we'll see you guys right back here for the review thank you All right, so let's talk about it, man. Because I had a lot to say in that episode because of Shane. Shane is becoming my most hated, hated character in this series because of just who he is. He's not a bad person. His personality is just terrible. <laughs> you know what I mean? He handles stuff in a way where you just want to choke him out every time. He does something because you're like, okay, I understand. You love Lori. You want to get her back to camp. But did you have to lie to get her back? 
probably but you could have you could have go with the other scenario we're as in okay let's go look for rick together because he ain't back yet because that way at least i know that you're safe because you're with me but he didn't think of that he, he doesn't want rick to come back and it's the truth what dale is what dale said when he said i don't think he wants rick and herschel to come back because he wants to be in he wants to be in charge which is also what andre is trying to kind of you know blow his head up about you know to let him know oh you've done more than rick has ever done which is kind of tr which is kind of true because he was with the group before rick came along but i think rick is the better leader because i think he makes better decisions um as a as a leader you get what i'm saying not just about your family everybody is trying to survive you can't just think about a couple of people shane you just can't you can't in some scenarios maybe yes maybe that's the reason why you should think about um other people then because the more you protect other people the more your family will be protected because you'll have more people to help protect your family but you don't look at the broad aspects of things you're just so single-minded and so freaking tunnel vision it's nuts to me how he was in charge of the group before and they and so many of them survived god knows how many of them they lost before that you know what i mean because i do believe that shane is the type of person that will leave somebody behind because he he's done it to save himself oh i was doing it for carl and yeah we get that but you should have tried to escape with otis you should have i think they could have escaped with otis but he shot otis and basically crippled him and let the walkers take him sacrifice the dude to get away and i know there's a lot of people out there who's gonna be like i would have done the same thing and maybe you're the type of person that does that me i couldn't i couldn't do that i do not see myself sacrificing another human being for my own good i could never see myself doing that if if the scenario arise and I choose to do that, it would be freaking surprising to me because I know I don't have that kind of personality in me. I just, I know that about myself because I go out of my way to do things for people all the time without sometimes, without even gratitude return to me. So I know the type of person I am and hopefully you know the type of person you are. But this episode was pretty good, man. They got Herschel back. The whole thing that happened with them at the bar and these other people obviously they weren't by themselves guys that they killed they weren't by themselves so they got a chance to get out of there and that was really really good man they they've saved somebody that you know the other group they left their man to die and stuff like that and i get it man it's 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 you know it's fair and you don't want to die you want to you don't want to end up a, a, a walker so you know what i mean i understand the decision no matter how selfish it is i understand it it's an extremely selfish decision to not even try to save the dude you know what i mean so i i i do think that shane is the type of person that would have been out of there the moment herschel said we can't we can't help glenn said we need to go shane would have dipped on that dude straight up he was, like, oh, he was shooting at us you know what i'm saying but rick being the type of person that he is not to say that he has this thing where he wants to save everybody it's not just about that it's just that he's looking at it and he's saying listen at the end of the day we are all trying to survive i don't care what you did you could have been shooting at me 10 seconds ago if you're hurt and you're crying out for help i'm gonna try to help you you know what i'm saying because at the end of the day i'm your only choice at that point they left you for dead. What are you going to do? Shoot me in the face? You're going to die too, my dude. You know what I'm saying? So him making those kind of decisions is why I respect him so much. Because he sees the bigger picture before it, before most people see it. And now we got Lori trying to instigate and trying to get, try to tell him, whisper stuff in his ear to try to get him. I think she's trying to get him to kill Shane. I don't think that's gonna happen i i don't think rick is not that type of dude i don't think rick is definitely gonna kill somebody in cold blood like that you know what i'm saying 
Um, I understand where Shane and Andrea is coming from with the whole war thing, letting him go. You know what I'm saying? But in my opinion, why let him go? It's one dude. You know what I'm saying? It's one guy. You know what I mean? He could become an asset. You know, I don't think they're going to end up letting him go. That's what I think. The whole situation with, with, um, with Glenn and his girlfriend, like, as I said, in the moment, I wanted to say something in regards to that because it's it's a it's it's a situation where I understand where Glenn is coming from but he's got to learn to he's got to understand also that it's new to him and that's the reason why him being in love with her it's new right and that's the only reason why he froze up it's because it's new see as you get used to loving someone you tend to you tend to still worry about them but not as much because not to say that you love them any less over time it's just that you feel so much more secure in that love that you don't worry about them as much You're like oh they're okay you're good you get what i'm saying um you know she was way back then and you're worried about her hurting in the in the heat of the moment you know what I'm saying? He froze up. I get it. But that doesn't mean it's going to happen a second time, Glenn. Come on, man up. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's all about you just recognizing that you love her to the point where you're worried about your, her losing you. You get what I'm saying? That's all you got to recognize. So now, all you got to do now is make better decisions when you're out here fighting. Strategize a lot better. Don't just risk your life. You know what I'm saying? Talk to people who has been in relationships for years like Rick talk to those people talk to herschel you know what i'm saying do those things but there's a lot of suggestions i could give him to get over that um i didn't like the idea of him trying to tell her you know we can't be together because of this no i i'm i root for love all the time you guys know by should know by now that i'm a i'm i'm a hopeless romantic so i'm rooting for love all day every day it needs to happen see somebody truly in love together especially um, when I see it on screen and the chemistry is there because they have good chemistry on screen together I like their scenes that they have together very good acting their chemistry is really good on screen So I love it um, I would love for them to name the baby um, If it's a girl they could name it Sophia. I think that was a great suggestion by Carl um, So you already know how I feel about this episode Shane is the bane <laughs> He is the bane of my existence right now watching The Walking Dead. So let's see how things turn out, man. I'm glad to be able to react to this. You guys hopefully enjoyed my reaction. Thank you guys for watching as always. Remember to comment and like on this. If you got through this whole video, okay, you already know. Just remember to subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. Remember, you are Terror Squad. I am Mr. Terror by Reacts, and I will see you guys next time for some more Walking Dead. Peace.